All right, everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek, and welcome back to Vampire, the Kings of Darkness. So, uh, we've been playing this game all week, and I've been having fun with it, and finally, for the first time, I won a game yesterday. Uh, so, we won one game out of three so that's not good so we're gonna try to see if we can do better if you've missed um if you missed uh, the prior episodes and you're just joining us vampire the kings of darkness is a deck building game in in which uh it's a game where we the both players is a competitive game start off with the same deck of cards and then you build up your deck uh as you play rather than starting with a pre-constructed deck so um let's just jump in and i'm sure you'll get the gist of it if you're just joining us for the first time and if you've been you know watching before i appreciate you you know stick with me so i believe uh i forget how this means but this has to do with us starting so we've played through all the different classes and we're gonna play with class four now uh again i have not yet um understood what the differences between the classes are other than time periods so i really would like it if the uh developer would uh add that into the game and you know maybe maybe just make you know call a little bit more attention to it okay so we are going to be starting things off and we definitely want to play our trieste here because that's going to give us two gold and one hold so we're going to play that uh that gives us two we can get up to six and i think i'm going to go with the big money strategy again i'm going to buy just a lot of uh buildings early on so let's play them all for acquire all right, so we'll have six gold up here, and let's take a look over here. We have uh, Leopoldine. Now we do need her; she's one of our combo cards. Uh, but Ferdinand is not, so she's priority and she's cheaper anyway. So let's go ahead and buy uh, this, the Vienna, the Berg Theater. So we'll get that, and then we're done with our turn. So that'll be it. So our opponent's gonna go. Let's see if we pay more to see. He played a land there or location, as they're called. Uh, so who have six coins as well? What does he go for? He goes for a location as well. Now I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if there's any benefit to having multiples of the same location. Uh, I'm not even sure if there are multiples. I think there are. Okay, so we have uh, five coins here, which is not enough really to buy anything not enough to buy anything right now which is oh no what am i talking about we have plus two here so we can get up to uh seven um which we could buy this guy but we don't want to we could get her i don't think we really need to do that yet i think i want to go with uh we'll play this one i don't think we need to play all of them right three four so we will play we'll hold one we can hold one for next turn because this allows us, this gives us plus one hold per turn. So we'll hold that for next turn and then we'll play the rest for acquire. That'll give us the six we need and we'll buy another uh, location. That is, I believe, our third location because we start with one in our deck. Correct? We start with one in our deck. So, uh, so that should be our third location. All right. And turn. So what I want to get, I want to get to like maybe five locations. And we just drew, we got two here, which is actually pretty nice. Um, drawing into two of them early like this is pretty good. We'll have a good hand. What do we have here? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten coins. We should, anyway. Uh, so we play this. This will give us plus two gold and one hold for the turn. This will give us another two gold. Um, that lets us hold three. Hmm. Do we want to get one more locate? I think so. With a completed group plus one golden per acquiry card. I'm not sure what that means, a completed group. I'm not sure if it's uh I think that might have to do with these. Um Let's see here. So question is do I want to go for this one now or get another location? I think I think we play this for choir and I think we're gonna hold the rest of these and I think I'm still gonna go for location actually hold on what do we got over here I forgot I neglected this. I want this oh man I could have saved Ooh, we're gonna buy this to draw three cards that's actually pretty nice uh, 
There's another one there. And actually, we're going to hold the rest of these. Because uh, having four gold in a turn is not going to be beneficial. So we'll hold these for next round. And we'll end things there. I totally forgot about these defensive cards. I don't really like these offensive cards. I'd rather use them later in the game. Um, so I probably should have uh, bought an early uh, defensive card. And I did not do that. Our opponent is building up a lot of points per turn. But so, so are we. We're doing good now. We, we got very unlucky here where we drew. Well, I, I think actually I think that's our whole deck is just uh, these guys here. So what do we got? Six. Um, hmm. How much total do we have? We have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen points. That means we can buy a location and one of these guys. I don't think we need to buy a location. I think maybe we go for. Um, we want to buy more of these uh, our, our vampires now. I think. I think we want to start transitioning. Um, Let's get one of each. So we'll buy... Let's buy her, first of all. No, that's not efficient. Let's... Alright, let's play all for acquire. Okay, this is... I, I think I know what I'm going to do here. I'm considering buy... I, I thought about buying this, but I think we'll get one location. And then we'll get, buy this guy that costs uh, seven here. Because uh, I, think, I think we want to start buying these guys... Uh, sooner than later uh, we, we, We've got pr a pretty good pr gold production here, so I don't have to keep buying locations so crazily I Would like that one one more defensive card uh, But let's see if our opponent uh, buys it Nope, he didn't get it. I'd like to buy that that one there All right, so we're gonna play this to draw three cards. This is gonna be really good uh, We're gonna have a good hand here we're gonna have a good turn here. Uh, we'll play this for that. And do we need this guy? He doesn't complete a combo. She does. So we definitely want to buy her. Uh, so we have 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, so we have plenty here. So let's, um, let's buy her. See what comes up. She also completes a combo. Uh, I really would like to get another one of these. So let's see here. Six, twelve. I can't get all of them, but we can get her later. I think I, I want to get another draw. Draw three. Um, so let's uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can hold some of these actually. So we'll play this guy here. We'll play this guy for acquire other mercenary we, we're gonna we're gonna go up to six I think I want to get I want to get the draw or draw these yes so we'll buy that and then I think we're just gonna hold on to the rest of these we'll hold those and then our turn there I think we may want to buy maybe one more location do we want to get another location he's, he's starting to buy offensive cards over there Okay, I think now we might get one more location, and then I think we go heavy into buying uh, our our, uh, our folks over there. So, how much can we make total this turn uh, without this guy here? So, we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus eight is 14. Um, so, I might I might put this guy in my, in my empire. Uh... Well, let's see. We can buy her. She combos for us, so we'll buy her. What about this guy here? So does he. So we want to get him. So, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, six, and seven. And we'll, we'll acquire this guy. Maybe I should have gotten another location, but uh, I don't think so. Uh, do we need it? We do need that guy as well. So, um, I think I want to throw this guy into my empire and just get ahead on that. Hmm. He's worth three points in our empire. Um, I think that might be okay. 
All right, let's do it. Let's just put them in our empire. And then we will hold this for next round. I don't know if that was a good idea. Maybe I should have held that. Maybe I should have held that, but... All right, there he goes. He's going to... I'm trying to get ahead. In, in most past games, our opponent has started building the empire before us and getting getting ahead on points. I want to get really ahead on points and then start buying like uh, a lot of these offense cards. Um, I don't think I want to play this draw three because it's only going to draw us one card. So we're probably going to hold that. Um, now, this girl here is worth points. So I think we might put her into our empire. Uh, this guy here... We need him for our empire for sure. So we're going to buy him. Oh, and there's her. Uh, so I think we want to get her as well. So can we get to nine? I don't think we can get to nine this turn. She gives us two, three, four, five, six. So if I play everybody, I could get this guy. Two, three, four, five, six. I can't get a location. I'd like to get a location. Maybe I'll get... Uh, banish a card from the main deck of the opponent's location deck. Um, maybe I want to get a little bit of a little offense over here. Let's uh, hold this. We're gonna. We're, oh, what am I doing? Um, why is it not letting me hold that? Oh, I already held it. That's why. Duh, duh. Okay, I think we play everything else for acquire. We're gonna play everything for acquire. And we're going to go ahead and get this offensive card. So banish a card from the main deck or the opponent's location deck. Um, so I think that'll be these over here? I'm not sure. So we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. This is a learning experience for all of us. So um, we'll see. I think I'm doing pretty good. But every time that I thought I was doing good before, our opponent did stuff like that. Look at that. He's giving us a bunch of minuses over here. But now I think I want to start a, start splitting my attention between offensive cards and buying our uh, aristocrats over there. So we're going to play this to draw three cards. And we're definitely going to play this. So let's see what this does. So banish card from the main deck of the opponent's location deck. So let's play and see what we do. Banish card from the main deck of the opponent's locations. So I, I definitely, I'll take one of his locations. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's going to really slow down his money production there. And I think we play this for three more cards. And I think these guys, we just want to just start dumping them into our empire. Well, how much can I get this turn? Do I get... What's this? The highest curse card in the empire is pushed back into your opponent's realm. If no curse card can be pushed back, yeah, I'll buy that because he's got some curses on us. Um, I'm trying to look, trying to look at this card. I I would like to get her. So how can I get her this turn? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have to play one of these guys. So not her, not this. Uh, I kind of need all of these guys. So maybe, uh, I play her for. Let's see. I have four. How many mercenaries? I have four, six mercenaries. That's eight. Um, so we'll play her. We're going to send this guy into the empire. We'll send, not you, this guy into the empire. And then we're going to play enough just to get nine. And then I think we will hold the rest. We'll hold the other one. I could just spend it or send it into my empire, but I don't think we need to do that. So we'll just hold it. That's just one extra point for next turn. We'll buy her. And that'll be it for now. So we're at minus five, but once we draw into uh, some of these aristocrats, we're going to... Uh, I think we're going to just jump ahead. We, we play her over here. That's going to complete a set here. I actually did not pay attention to what our uh, opponent was doing there. Okay, uh, what is this guy here? This crystal reduces the opponent's power by an amount of four. That's decent. Um, uh, we're definitely going to put her into our empire. This should be a lot of points. There we go. Um, 
This guy doesn't combo. This neither of these combo. Um, so we'll buy this guy for six and see what we what comes out. I think we need no. We don't need that guy either. Uh, so five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we're gonna play the rest of these for acquire. Does she combo for us? She does. So I think I'm still gonna do it. Uh, we'll play all for acquire. Oh, I overdid it. I overdid it. Uh, I overdid it a little bit. Why did I miscount? Oh, you know what? Because of... I'm getting extra gold because of com having complete sets. That's what's happening here. Well, we're going to buy this guy for nine. Well, maybe maybe we'll buy... Actually, I think... Oh, he's worth five points. So, yeah, we, we will buy him. And I don't have enough for this. I have five points and nothing to do with that. So, that actually was a mistake. I should have I should have played cards one at a time. Uh, all right. Well, uh, it is what it is. I, I can't do anything else with it. So we'll just end our turn there. Uh, so that's a, that was a waste. So learning experience. But I think I think we're doing pretty good here. And actually, we're gonna get rid of a curse. So we'll probably. Uh, there he goes. He's starting to try. He's starting to try to catch up. All right, so we definitely want to be banishing people here. All right, this guy here, man, we don't need that either. Neither of these don't combo. Uh, we'll play this to draw three cards. Okay, uh, I think we're going to play this battle. So for the highest curse card in your empire is pushed back. So we'll put that, get that out of here. That goes over to his side. Uh, that's the drawback of curses. I think we want to play her because she finishes this combo here. Uh, so we'll play it, put her into our empire. Um, and then I think we'll buy this Austri Austrian Imperial Crown. is just worth a lot of points. And then none of these are giving us uh, combos. We got to get these over here. This is our last combo to get. We do have her. We got to find this guy. We have her in our deck, so can we? We can hold four of these cards. So uh, let's uh, let's throw this guy into our empire, and then the rest of these are just gonna be holds. I think I have that many holds. Hold and hold. All right. Okay. I feel like we're in a very strong position. Our opponent's at minus one. We're at thirty. So the kind of big money strategy works a little bit build up a bunch of uh, uh, locations um, but there are ways for your opponent to destroy your locations and in fact uh, we have one of those cards uh, this should be pretty big right now in fact I think we could almost end the game here we'll play this to draw three cards and then a bunch of these cards I think I think we pretty much do we need either of these we'll buy her she's worth a lot of points and this is not the guy we we're looking for um, let's drop we definitely want her in our empire uh, she completes that um, oh we'll play this and draw our last few cards there Um, we're gonna play this battle so for the highest curse cardio empire do we have a curse over here we do we do so we'll play this that gets rid of it and it puts it on our opponent's side so he goes down to minus two yeah he's just screwed um, how many mercenaries we have on hand one one two three four five six seven eight oh my god so all of our aristocrats we're, we're just throwing them in our empire now now I think we're just gonna go crazy. Definitely this one because it doesn't give us anything else. And last but not least, Rudolph here is gonna go into our empire. So now our opponent has three turns to get above us. And then, uh, one, two, how many I have? Three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so we're gonna send one to the empire and play all the rest for a choir. And then we'll buy one. We'll buy uh, this guy over here, Carl. 
Is that his name? We'll buy Carl here because he's worth four points when we throw him in our empire. And there's the guy we were looking for, uh, Napoleon. Napoleon the first. All right. He's worth five points. That's nice. All right. Uh, that is... Oh, we still have seven points. Wow. Uh, damn. Not enough to get this guy. So we'll just get Johan over here. Or maybe we'll get this. Yeah. Uh, we have enough aristocrats. Eh, we'll get it. We'll buy the aristocrat. Our opponent is so low. Now we end our turn. So that's the part that's a little bit tricky. I wish there was some kind of notification that would let you know when you're getting bonus points uh, because of combos over here. Yeah, I, I, I think our opponent is a goner here. And we're in round 12. Uh, not quite the end yet. Um, we'll play one of these. Uh, we'll get Napoleon there. And I don't really think there's a reason to throw these guys in our empire. Uh, and if I spend them for... Oh, I can buy actually buy this guy. So we'll play them all for acquire. We'll actually get this guy here. We'll get Ferdinand the first. He's only worth one point, but hey, it's something. And that might be that's all of our cards there. We we bought and damn, we got actually extra points. Um, yeah, that is confusing me. I have not been noticing what gives us extra points or I mean, it, it, it's these uh, locations. All right, opponents throwing curses on us, but it's just not enough. There he goes. He's trying to catch up, but he, he has to win this turn. All right. He did not, and there is victory for us. So, guys, that is Vampire, the Kings of Darkness. Hope you enjoyed these uh, playthroughs of it. I'd like to hear your comments and let you, you know, let me know what you think about this game. I think it's interesting. I think there is more that can be done with this game. Uh, I'm going to show exactly what I think. I feel like I stumbled upon pretty much kind of the optimal strategies where you build up some gold and then get your, uh, you know, get your aristocrats, uh, mix it up with a couple of defensive and draw spells, and pretty much whoever does that first wins. So the only randomness is the luck of the draw, which in this game hasn't been that bad. Um, so maybe there needs to be some ways to add more strategy here or more, more different ways to play than just uh, the money. Um, so be curious to try that. Maybe I'll try, a, a, you know, maybe I'll try a, a tactic where I buy lots of offensive cards or something like that. Um, not sure. Um, but that'll be it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you soon.